Okay, this is uh, Sue Chambers from Wine Equals Friends, the UK's New York wine specialist. She's got a couple of wines for us to uh, to go through and uh, discover. So uh, over to you. What are we going to try, Sue? Well, we first of all we have uh, a T.S. Riesling from the Finger Lakes, and T.S. Riesling is a very exciting wine because it's actually a collaboration of three different wine wineries. Um, one is um, Fox Ron and their winemaker. Another is uh, Red Newt Cellars, also based on Seneca Lake. And the third one being Anthony Road. Now, this is a really exciting wine because I think it, it really uh, uh, shows and illustrates the great collaboration or collaborative spirit that goes on in the Finger Lakes. Uh, here we have three winemakers that, that pick their best blocks of Riesling and they come together over a period of months and months in, in a dark and secretive room. Well, not too dark, otherwise I won't be able to tell what the wine looks like. But um, in, in a room uh, and they huddle together and they choose which blocks of Riesling, which parcels of, of wine really makes a fantastic blend. And so, so this it comes together in this one bottle, these three wineries. Um, even the label kind of shows the Finger Lake whole emblem and it's just fantastic wine great acidity so Slight. Riesling um, is I'm hearing a lot of exciting things about Finger Lakes Riesling so this particular region this particular microclimate has become now very well known for Riesling would absolutely you, would you agree? Yeah. I mean the uh, the the winery the, the 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 wine region itself was actually first planted up in the late 1800s um, with a, a number of German immigrants, hence the, oh, wow. the reason yeah. that a lot of them planted Riesling. It's also perfect climatic conditions because it's a cooler climate, right. so you don't have the over-ripening that you get in other regions of America. Um, it's much cooler, it has a long ripening season, and the Riesling grape is absolutely suited to the climatic conditions. There's also lots of underlying slate in the soil, so you get both the soil and and the climate coming together to make perfect reasoning. So similar to Germany, or very similar, similar to, to Alsace? Very or? similar to Germany, really. Right. Um, and so this would be a really good, sort of almost like a benchmark good example of a, a Finger Lakes Riesling to try absolutely. and discover. It's absolutely yeah. the It's best. more German in style. Though. It's more German in style. It, it's actually quite dry, which is uh, not entirely. It's, it, I'm, I'm told that there's lots of dry Riesling now coming out through Germany as well. Um, mm. So they've made it in a much drier style, but I think it's the fruit's still there. It's yeah. got amazing acidity, as you would expect with Riesling, but Oh, you're really making my mouth water. So what, what food would you pair that with? Something like seafood, shellfish, um, crab, something like that? Yeah. Absolutely. Shellfish, um, a crab salad. Um, Boston clam chowder. Perfect. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, I you, mean, you're making me hungry now, Sue. Sorry. Div divine. Let's move on to the red. So what red have you got lined up for us? So what I've got lined up for you uh, is, an, is an interesting red because... Um, Really, Long Island reds are predominantly Merlot, Bordeaux varietals. Right. Quite classic grapes, um, but it really well suited. Again, to the to the cooler climate, they don't get big jammy fruit. Both regions get slightly lower alcohol, so it, it, it really fits in with the trend to slightly lower alcohol wines. They're not big and blousy. And you've um, got the maritime influence there as well. You've got the maritime yeah. influence Good acidity. of the Atlantic. Yeah. Um, so, but this one is actually a Pinot Noir. Oh wow! There aren't many Pinot Noirs in Long Island. Interesting. There are actually Pinot Noirs in Cabernet Franc in the Finger Lakes. It's it's also known for that as well as the Rieslings. But this producer, uh, I call him the specialist. It's McCall Wines. Right. And he decided after uh, um, uh, being an, a wholesaler and doing a lot of travelling to Burgundy and Bordeaux that when he started his own winery that he would just specialise in Merlot and Pinot Noir and he's one of the few wineries in Long Island where they have lots of sandy loam very similar to Bordeaux that has actually little pockets of clay underneath the soil so he makes a fantastic Pinot Noir really rich really um, 
well vibrant structured, fruit, yeah. but well structured. The wood is really well integrated, and actually, I think, and, and I was told by one of the leading sommeliers that that it's actually the most Burgundian Pinot Noir he's had, and he was very surprised that it had come from somewhere like New York that he hadn't heard of. Wow, what a discovery! Great, so stuff. exciting. Thanks very much. Pleasure. And again, what would you pair the Pinot with? Um, something like game or venison, venison or duck, would be something like that. Absolutely perfect. Uh, it's still got good acidity, so yeah, duck would be fantastic too. So either of those, a nice bit of dauphinoise, a bit of red cabbage. Yeah. Oh, you're making me hungry again, Sue. Cheers. Thanks once again. Pleasure. Lovely to have you.